Hello, good evening, my name is Modi Apparatus, and welcome to Mega Aquarium. This game is from Twice Circled Games, which if you don't know, is the creator of Big Pharma, who we've uh, had on the, the channel before. We played a little bit of that. It was a factory pharmaceutical building game. This is a theme park, theme park management game, I guess would be the way to describe this one. Uh, we'll create our own aquarium, bring in the public, they'll pay us money to, to see our exhibits, stock new fish, research new things, build a, a nice environment for everything to happen in, and it's kind of a fun, cool, relaxing, little cute game. Let's get into a brand new game of it, and we'll check it out here. The only options we have available right now are Sunnyside, which is basically the tutorial level. We'll start with that one, I think, here. There also is a sandbox mode where you can control all kinds of different stuff here. You can do some standard presets, have some things unlocked from the get-go. Uh, choose whatever you want to do. You can have a very difficult, it's like limited supply and stuff like that. Um, lots of options there, but we'll do the campaign because that's kind of straightforward here. And uh, let's get into the sunny side here and make it our own. You've been tasked with building a small aquarium from scratch here at Sunnyside. Before investors release any funding, they want to make sure you can handle the basic controls. Complete objectives in the top right to the screen to prove you know what you're doing. For more information on any objective, hover over the info button on the right. So what's it saying here is we can hover over this button here as one of the objectives right there. Hover over there and get in, uh, information on the objective. Um, we need to pan the camera a little bit. We need to orbit the camera a little bit. These are just kind of sta straightforward control questions here. And then return to home by pressing H. That brings us back to the main screen here. Great stuff, you just unlocked your first round of funding for your aquarium. Use the money to get the basic requirements for your aquarium set up. These are covered in the new set of objectives you've just been given. By the way, if you need to review this or any other message, you can use the button in the bottom left of the screen. Okay, so we got 2,000 bucks to build our very limited aquarium for right now. So we got an entranceway right here. This is where all of our public will come through and we can build our first tank. So. We can build a small tank or we can make it larger, but for now we'll just build a couple small tanks on one at each side here, and this will be a basic start here for now. Along with tanks, we need to add in some filters, and we can throw those wherever for now. We can always move these things later on. I like the, how fully customizable everything is as far as when you lay something down, it's not permanent. You can always move stuff around later. Uh, it's a nice touch. It doesn't really cost a whole lot to move stuff around. Once you own it, it's yours. All right, the first thing we need to do is add some Zur Demolizels to each tank here. These are these nice pretty blue fish we have here. Tiny, tiny blue fish. Uh, each fish has some requirements here to tell us how much prestige we get for adding in uh, that fish there. How much uh, ecology it adds. Whenever points earned, whenever a fish gets this. So ecology is basically our, our experience. This tells us how big the fish is. So these are rather tiny. And the temperature it needs, the uh, water quality it needs to survive, and uh, the type of food it eats. So we have all the information we need there. Let's add a couple in here. Add some. Let's do it the, uh, to each tank. Okay, we'll add some over here too. We'll add one to each tank. There we go. We got three in this one, four in this one, or three in this one, two in this one. Along with that, we need to add some decorations in so they're not just kind of playing around in empty water. Here we have some sea lettuce. And we'll throw in some rocks in there for good measure. Uh, invalid placement. Okay. And we'll do the same thing over here. Get some rocks in. Get some lettuce in there. Some fish will have different requirements where they really need certain things in there too. And then we need to build an orange pellet dispenser. The orange pellet dispenser is used to feed our fish. Uh, it has 200, it says, as far as the, is that the capacity for it? Okay. Cost 60 bucks. We'll keep put it wherever. Um, it can feed both both tanks. So it just needs kind of a, a point where our, uh, our, our aquarium keeper will uh, grab stuff from. Along with that, we also need to build a tool station. And we can rotate with the scroll wheel there. Let's put it right next to that. If anything breaks down, which does happen occasionally, they will come fix it. And then we need to hire an aquarist. Aquarist? Aquarist. So we have Anna, or we have Harry, as our two new aquarists. He wants $17 per day. She wants $16 per day. He's got a little bit different stats, I suppose. He's better at feeding. He's better at fixing. Yada, yada. Let's hire Anna here. Welcome, Anna. Should we hire them both? now? we're not going to need them both. Well, we need both eventually, but... Uh, then we can click to open our very first day of our aquarium. Day one. Well done, your base aquarium is up and running and your first guest has arrived. Whenever a guest enters the aquarium, they'll pay you some money to enter. In addition, they, as they experience your displays, they'll reward you with ecology points, which you can use to unlock new animals for your aquarium. So, we got our first ecology, ecology points and we can unlock the orchid dotty back uh, after a few short uh, experiences here. So as you earn more ecology points, the progress towards unlocking it you can see your progress in the bottom left. So the more fish we have, the more the more quickly we unlock new fish. So it's good to keep these things fully stocked if possible. Um, that does put obviously more wear and tear on the, the machines then. The water quality is going to be lessened. 
Um, but uh, it is worth it so we can get ourselves unlocked here nicely. And we got our second uh, visitor. We got plus two ecology. Looks like it only takes about three for the first level here. And it says pause ga our game is one of the next things to do. All right, so we got the Orchid Dotty back unlocked. So the Orchid Dotty back, now it's time to add some for your aquarium. And we'll add those guys in. We'll throw them into here. Throw one into there. And is that it? Oh, that's all we need to do, huh? Okay, so next, now we can actually expand our floor space. We have a little bit of money rolling in. We got some income from these little guys here. And we can actually add on to our aquarium. Let's pause the game here quick. And let's see what we want to do. So we can add in some walls here. It's pretty straightforward. I mean, it's, it's we can add in, uh, so we can expand out this way and add another tank over there maybe. And let's expand out this way too. And we'll add in some stuff over here. All right, it took away about a couple hundred bucks from us, but we can actually move stuff around here as well. If we use M to get to this tool here. And I want to put this more centrally located. Moving decorations and also I'm just about to explain that. So we can move stuff around by pressing M there and put stuff wherever we like it to be. So it's, these, are, these are gonna be feeding these two guys here, so I wanted to have that close by. And they'll be start adding in some new tanks. So the next thing we wanna do is build a large tank. To do that, we just gotta click and drag to make it larger. Now this guy's gonna bump out of the way there. Sorry about that, buddy. And then we can add on our basic filters and add in our heater. And we have another environment ready to go for the next fish. Now we need to put some orchid dotty backs in the new area here. So what we can do is take this orchid we just placed in here, move him from there into here. There we go. And it says to put six in there. Uh, so let's put six in the new tank. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, let's see, close the window. There we go. And Orchid Dotty back. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, there we go. So there's our six Dotty backs. And uh, the fish, this is saying that the fish have different care requirements. So we, as I pointed out before, some fish have different requirements. Uh, this one, for instance, is a, sh a shoulder, which means it needs to have four, at least, to be happy. So you need to have four half and half chromos. In the, in the tank otherwise it will not be satisfied so let's take this and move this over here i want to put these um over here actually i want to move this down to the corner if i can and you can move the whole thing as one um which is kind of nice and this guy also takes orange feed so i might move, move, put another feeder over here too uh and we just move one at least one half and half chromosis but we need to do four of actually to make them happy. I'm gonna put another tank in since we have a lot of money right now. Um, let's put another tank in over here. Now we put a lot, a lot of room there. I'm gonna move this over here actually. There's not a lot of room to walk over there and then we actually might wanna expand this a little bit, this direction here. Um, or we can take this one and move it down a little bit maybe. I don't wanna do that necessarily. Let's do, uh, let's put our orange. Let's, well, first of all, we gotta get the heater set up. We gotta get the, um, Temperature just right there, get the filtering just right so that the water stays nice. And then we put our whole half and half chromuses in here. One, two, three, four. Makes them happy. Satisfy the shoulder requirements. Now you've got a few different species of fish in your aquarium. You should be able to rank up soon. Ranking up will instantly unlock new equipment, decorations, facilities to increase the repertoire of animals that are available to research. There's more. The higher you rank, the more guests you attract, and the more they're willing to pay for your aquarium. So we earn more money, faster. We have more animals locked available to us. Our next objective is to rank up which shouldn't take too long because we need just a few prestige in order to do it. Let's unpause here and get back to it. Um, so we just need some more guests, it sounds like. Let's, uh, since we have some cash here again, let's expand a little again here. Let's just make this a little bit bigger. And we actually might just make this a little more interesting here too. So let's go like this. We can go like this. Can I not, can I not expand this direction? Oh, I can't expand the direction, it looks like. I was hoping I could expand like a little wing here, but maybe not. Still, should be okay. Um, let's expand this one more line out here and then we can put this guy over here oh there's our rank up cool that didn't take long at all now if I put this in the corner this guy's gonna be stuck so I'm gonna put this over here there we go and then everything can be accessed easily you don't have like the heaters right where everybody's gonna walk through. And we have more room for some more stuff here too. So we gotta rank up, we reach level 10, or level two rather, with 10 XP. Uh, there's a rank up, ranking up to level two. And that gave us the king demo cell and uh, a staff door so we can have a, a separate location for all of our staff to go through. And a combi mini, 
So this combines the filtering and the heating into one unit. We also get a Driftwood Cave for our creatures here, so that's kind of fun. Let's add in some more, uh, let's first of all research that. And since we're talking about decorations, let's add some of these in there to uh, give them some places to hang out. Because this one doesn't have anything in there right now. Let's make it a little nicer for them in there. Adds more prestige, adds some more ecology for each one here. Um, this one adds in caves, which some creatures need. This one takes filter power, helps maintain water quality. So by adding rocks in, we actually help the filters work better. And we might want to do the same thing in here because it's going to help the filters work a little bit better. Whenever you get a lot of fish in one of these bigger tanks, sometimes you need two filters, but with that, we might not. Now, one thing I could do is start moving to these combis. Now, the combis, let's take a look and see. Are they better or worse, anything? Looks like they're identical to what we're getting right now. The only thing is that they have reliability of 90 versus 95 and 95 for those things. So they will break down occasionally. But I think that'll be okay. Let's put this in right here. And then let's sell off these guys here. So let's bam and bam. Recoup most of our expenses there. Let's move this guy around so it's out of the way. And that should bring everything back to normal. Now that might break down. As I said, but we do have this available. Now, given that we have so many things and we could have breakdowns, let's hire in another worker here as well. So we have Harry or Wade. Wade is 16 per day. Not very good at anything here. Uh, good, good precision empathy, though. Otherwise, we have uh, Harry, who's better at fixing things, but not that basic stats. Now, I think I want to hire Wade, because he's just got better empathy and memory and everything like that. Precision determines the natural talent for fixing and lesser extent feeding. Let's hire him. All right, welcome, Wade. Welcome to the welcome to our uh, sunny side aquarium. So we have a lot of room here for more stuff. Um, let's put this over in the corner here, maybe. Let's put this over here, and we can slide this over to the corner then. And then we can put in some more uh, things here. Now we're working on getting the uh, king demoiselle. Demoiselle? I think that's how you say it. Demoiselle. And we're going to get that unlocked soon here, but I think we should probably add in some new fish here because we have a little bit of room here still for some more of those guys. And um, let's throw, throw a couple more in here. We have one, one, we can have 18 in there. Okay, so the water quality is going to happen a little faster there. Let's put some more rocks in there. Hopefully we can maintain some of that water quality. There we go. So that water quality will be a little bit better then. Um, this one's full. This one's like I one in it. So let's let's increase the prestige there. What do we got in there one? We have uh, the blue demosales. Okay, let's put one in there. And let's fill this one up as well with those guys. All right, and that needs to be fed now. We'll keep an eye on the water quality. Make sure we're not dropping down at all here. And this one's still okay. Still okay. All right, let's close all the windows. So we should unlock this king demosale in no time. But we can actually go fast speed here and unlock it even faster. So we got quite a few people. And one thing I do like about this too, I should mention, that we can zoom in nicely with this. Um, you can you can really get in there and zoom in on, on your, your, your uh, fishes. You can actually get way up in there. You gotta get a look at everything, which is kinda cool. I like that how, you can, how far you can zoom in and see everything. Kinda neat. Anyways, let's uh, pause here. Let's get our, our, our De King Demosale unlocked. Is there anything else we have unlocked here? Not really. Driftwood Cove, uh, the combi, yeah, that's it for right now anyways. All right, there's our King Demosdale. Yeah, we have, uh, he's a timid beauty, otherwise a wimp. Don't house him with any animals that have the bully tag. So we gotta make sure we don't have the bully tag on anything here. Now we could throw him in one of these. Now we definitely have room in here. We do have room in there. How big is this guy? He needs a two. So we can actually put him with these guys. These guys should get along, okay? And there we go. We got all the requirements. So next we need to unlock the Arabian Bull Line Dotty Bag. And uh, we'll unlock that next. Get that guy unlocked. And that should just take a couple minutes. We're at day three right now. That should just take a couple minutes here. And we'll have that guy unlocked in no time. Let's keep it on fast speed for now. Watch our little fishes go and everybody be happy, hopefully. Let's keep an eye on things though. We have this one at uh, 54%, 54%. Looks like the rocks are doing their job there as far as maintaining the quality of that water, which is great. Oh, we get some little feedback on Patrick here. Patrick really likes the Azur Demosales. He likes the Orchid Dotty back. He likes the half and half growth. He looks like the small rocks too. He likes a little bit of everything. We get a lot of feedback there. Sweet. 
So that is the new animals unlocked. We have the D Arabian Blue Line Dottie back. Now this guy is a bully. Uh, he's a pugnacious little fellow. These bullies are terrifying any animal that with the wimp tag, such as the King Demacel. Now we don't want to make sure we don't put those guys together, but we could put them in with these guys. Now we do have, do we have any room around here for anything? Looks like we have 14 of 18 in there. So let's see, let's make, take out some of these guys out of here. And uh, we'll use the move tag, throw them in there. And that's 18 there. And this guy's full. This guy's eight of eight, okay. But we could put the bully in there. I think it should be okay now. We have the Arabian blue line and we have one. And that takes care of that. Next, we can unlock the yellow tang. Now, this is a big fish. It's a six on the fish. Now, it also requires a uh, special type of housing. It requires us to have a plant lover and it re requires green pellets. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in a new tank for that guy and we get ready for it uh, over here. Now, we're gonna wanna make it a big one. So we have room for everything there. We can put the combi down over here. We have plenty of money still rolling in. And we'll put in some uh, ecology. We want some plants in there. And we'll put in some uh, small rocks to help with the filtering. And then we'll put in that uh, nice little for food cove. Not that he needs it, but we have it. All right. So we're unlocking the yellow tang. It shouldn't take too long at all. These guys are just checking out an empty bin here. This is like, oh, it's coming attractions. Come see the future home of the yellow tang. Get a sneak preview of an empty tank before the yellow tang joins us. We spare no expense when it comes to our yellow tang friends. There we go. We got unlocked here. Uh, he has the water quality requirements, 60%. So we might need to get a little bit more with this guy here. You might need two filters on there. Uh, you may need to have more filters or less fish in the tank. Notice that they'll eat a different type of food also. So we need special food for this guy. He's very particular, very persnickety here. Okay. So we have one in there. Now what's the water quality here? Is it okay? It's 68%. Now if we keep one in there, we'll be okay. So we get this own big tank here. Uh, and we'll have a special food pellets just for him right next to his tank here. He's living the dream already. He's already living the dream. Now we have a blocked. Oh, we have blocked. Uh, oh, no, it's, it's not blocked. Okay, it looks like we can still get past it. Ooh, black bar soldier fish. Now this guy requires us to have no lights. Housed in a tank with, with cannot be housed in a tank with tank lights attached. Uh, he likes caves and orange pellets. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. He's a biggie fish too. All right, so, um, ooh, we need to choose a project. Never mind, choose now. Yes, I want that one. Okay, so let's uh, let's slow it down a little bit here. Let's make sure we're okay with the location in there. I think that they might be blocking things. So let's move this out just a little bit there. Okay, that should be good. Then you can get access to this if it breaks down. And this guy's broken down here. He should be taking care of it soon, hopefully. Who's on this? It's assigned to Wade. Okay, good. Wade is the guy I'd want that fixing that up anyways, because he's the more experienced with that. Looking pretty good here. Looking pretty good. I'm liking these guys. It's looking really great. Okay. So we should get that one pretty fast. Um, this is 68. It might be able to get one more in there. And let's see if that's going to lower the water quality now too much. It does actually. So we'd have to add another filter if we're going to do this. Um, kind of tempted. Over here is not doing great either. Uh, let's add some more rocks over here. This is not that different. So let's just throw some rocks in there. Get it to 55. Let's see if we can with just that. It looks like we can't do it with just that. So let's go add another filter over here. And let's add another filter over here. And that should keep us in the in the right zone here for those guys. Yep, perfect. 67 is right where we want it to be. And the rocks in there should keep, help control it as well. All right, so we're at day five now. And we already have a ton of fish unlocked. Let's get this going a little faster here so we get this next fish unlocked right away here. And we might be able to get another level up pretty soon. Another rank up. Next at 41 is the next rank. Oh, we got the black soldier fish. So, the black soldier fish is, are nocturnal, so they like to have a cave to hang out in. When you reach rank two, you've unlocked the driftwood cave decoration, which provides cave. Make sure you add one black side, si, black bar soldier fish tank. They also dislike lights. You don't have to worry about this right now, but later when you need lights for your tanks, certain plant and corals, at least you're clear. Okay, let's add in another tank here. That's going to be specifically for these guys here. Now, what's their, what's their requirements as far as the water they have big requirements not really 
We should be able to get by with just one tank here. And we'll just put in the new exhibit right over here. Oh, should we put it in right here? Yeah, let's put it right there. And now these guys require orange, I think, is the uh, quality there. Now they do have the right temperature right now. Let's get that fixed up. Put the combi in there. And that should get it to... Needs one cave, okay. Put the cave in there and that should be good, okay. And then um, let's... Oh, we got tired guests. Okay, some of your guests have grown tired. Build benches to have them some place to sit. Okay, I think that's a great idea. Let's put some benches outside some of our uh, places here. So let's put a bench outside, like the new tank here. Um, like like facing the new tanks, maybe. So people can like hang out and watch some stuff. All right, looking great. We've reached the final challenge to reach the minimum prestige and maintain it for a period of time. Okay, we can do that. Earn 44 and maintain it for 30, three minutes. So that's not bad. All right, cool. We can do that. So let's get ourselves uh, the soldier fish. We could probably put more than one of in here. We got to make sure the water stays good. But right now it's at 70%. Uh, we could probably add in a couple more of those guys. Let's see. There are four. So we can add in uh, a 12 in there. We can't have another one. Oh, we can get 16. Okay. Now what lowers the water quality down. But we didn't add any rocks in yet. So let's put some small rocks in there. And bring it back up again. 55, 53, 54, 55. And that's 56. Okay. Now we don't have enough rocks for all of them. So we might have to take, we might have to take this out, put another filter in there rather than doing all those rocks. Um, let's demolish some of those rocks here. And we'll put in another one of the caves. Cause they do need a cave for each fish. There we go. Now it should be nice. That should look pretty nice for those guys. All right, is there another project for us to research? Not at this time. So it seems like as soon as we get through this one, we'll be through the tutorial and we just gotta get 80 prestige. All right, so I think we can do do that. Um, we should probably spend some more money because we have a lot of cash. To get this prestige faster, we can add in another wing over here. And we'll add in a couple new tanks over there that should add to some more prestige in. Um, let's get it put in right there. And we'll add in, uh, what should we put in? What's the most prestige we can get? Uh, the blue, t the yellow tank does do, do quite a bit. Uh, they're a little more persnickety, but um, yeah, that might be fine. Okay, so let's get the, uh, mini combi in there let's get the yellow tank put in and make sure we're gonna be okay with everything else there three of them in there okay that's 43 ecology we need the water to be a little bit better we'll add another basic filter in there that gets us to three and then we need to put three plants in there and we'll do rocks and the rest of it here all right let's get this good okay good and then we'll put a uh, the food thing right there so they can get it all at the same time. So we just got to wait on seven, 57 prestige. We're almost there. We have 60, 73 right now. It's going to happen fast. Then we have the tang here. Uh, let's move this guy out of the way so this is working okay. Um, don't want to block anything off there. Getting us quite a bit of ecology. Man, too bad we're not leveling anything up right now. And now we just got to hold it for three minutes once we get there. Which I don't see as being an issue. Uh, we can add in some more benches to make sure everybody stays happy. Let's add in a couple more benches. Put one here. Put one there. Beautiful. Now, that might have blocked off one of those seats there. Let's move this out just to be sure. Cool. It looks like they're stuck, though. We don't, we don't have enough foot space here. Let's put this a little bit further this way. There we go. And we got day seven. There's our 80, I think. Oh, we got a breakdown. We got a couple of breakdowns. Oh, we got a lot of breakdowns. That might be tougher to maintain. You know what we should do is hire on some more workers. Because it sounds like that's what we need. All right. So let's get another person in here to do some of the other work. And we get these things back up and running here faster. Gets us back to that prestige we need here. So we're 82 right now. And we just got to make sure we stay above that for a few minutes here. And we'll have it. Oh, didn't make it. Oh, we gotta, okay, we gotta get above it and then it'll, the clock will start ticking. Oh, it's at 90 now. That's good. That's good. I wonder why the prestige is failing. It's probably just the temperatures that are failing. You know what it is? I think it's that when the temperatures start like changing because of the breakdowns, uh, people are thinking that, oh, I don't like that that one's fish is not doing well. I've already seen that fish. So I don't care about that one. Um, some of these people are saying that fish looks sick or stressed. 
if we have a breakdown. And that could be the reason why the prestige is falling just a little bit, but I think we have a nice buffer there based on what we have done so far. So we should be good. 87 for another minute here, and it's going pretty fast. It's not full a full minute by any stretch of the imagination here. Um, let's put in some more grass in here for some more uh, prestige. Let's fill everything up. Because why not? Let's fill it up faster. Then we don't have to worry about it as much. Oh, well, we dropped below 70. We dropped it down to 80 there. All right. It's, it's holding. It's holding. Okay, we're at day nine now. Five seconds. All right, we've done it. That's it. You win. The sunny side is up to the title of... Uh, well, you've built Sunnyside up to be a great little aquarium. People have started to take notice. You've received a job offer to run a larger aquarium over in Northwoods. You can continue to build here at Sunnyside for as long as you want. This message will stay in your message log until you're ready. When you're ready to move to a bigger, better thing, let me know. Cool. Well, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Well, let's call it there. We got our little taste of Sunnyside. And we'll be back to do North Park or maybe do our own sandbox. You guys can let me know down below in the comments what you think we should do. If we should do the sandbox one and move on right to that. Uh, or we should uh, continue on with the uh, campaign. Let me know what you guys think down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Leave a like if you did like it. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Love to have you around to play all kinds of different titles like this. Uh, lots of different uh, building sims and that kind of thing. Also, just all kinds of different games. Metrovanias and all kinds of all kinds of indie games that I like to cover. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this, let me know down below. And I'll see you next time for more. Have a good night.